Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Nostalgia Unboxings. Today we have the playmat out, so we know we're doing some uh, TCG stuff. And the TCG is Yu-Gi-Oh! with the Yu-Gi-Oh! Tin of Lost Memories from 2020 here, as you can see in the back. So I know I'm like a month late probably on uh, actually opening this from when it was released, but it is what it is. <laughs> we have it now. Um, I've you know, had so much stuff lined up, so I only get around to actually getting one uh, just recently a few days ago from my local Target. I actually couldn't even tell you how much this cost because I kind of picked it up and uh, it had no price tag anywhere on it. But I was like, you know what? I got the shmoney. I know I can, I know I can afford it, and I just kind of didn't pay attention when they were ringing me up. Uh, I'm assuming it's probably like what 20 bucks. I feel 15, 20 bucks. I feel would be probably the cost. But you know, take that with a grain of salt because I am a clueless idiot apparently. But uh, so this is a really cool kind of special product, full of uh, reprints, new cards, and just um, a lot of stuff is rarity shifted too. I believe from the original printing. So like. Old stuff that was rare before usually gets downshifted lower and stuff that might have been a little um, in a more common rarity slot in its previous printings tends to get upshifted to maybe something a little bit rare. And there's also uh, the new cards such as the Red Eyes Dark Dragoon as you can see written about here in this line here but it's kind of obscured by these uh, Call Money logos here. But uh, that is a very, very good card. Um, I'll try to have prices up again on this video like I did for the last Yu-Gi-Oh! video so we can see, you know, kind of compare what we pull. But I know that that card is actually worth a good chunk of change because it is super competitively viable and uh, just really cool. So it has everything going for it. It's extremely good competitively. It features Red Eyes, which is, you know, a fan favorite card. And it features Dark Magician, which is a favorite card together. So, you know, it's got the whole trifecta of power. And uh, there's also some other really good reprints that I know of in this set. Um, a lot of the Danger cards are reprinted. Appalooza, Bow of the Goddess, another super, super powerful, competitively viable card is reprinted in a lower rarity, I believe, from what it was originally. And uh, there's a bunch of other interesting stuff, too. I think, what is it, Borolode Savage Dragon is in this set as well. We're going to use Gerber the Knight here to uh, pop the shrink wrap. So there's a lot of interesting stuff that I know that we can rip from here, so I think it'll be a very fun unboxing. Also, also with all the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff that I've been unboxing recently, I actually wanted this for the tin as well so I could store all my cards, because right now they're kind of just like sitting around behind me. I know you guys can't see, I don't know why I'm, I'm like pointing with my thumb behind me, but uh, I have all my, all my stuff kind of just like chilling right now, kind of out in the open. So here we go, we pop this uh, little case. Also, it looks really, really cool. I love the design of it. It's just, um, I believe it's supposed to kind of look like what the box the Millennium Puzzle came in was. It's either that or it's just like the tablet showing the prophecy. It might be the tablet showing the prophecy, but it's pretty sweet. Uh, I love the design of it. It's very aesthetically pleasing. I'm a big sucker for like shiny gold things, just cause I don't know, I really like the look of it. So I'm gonna be very happy to store all my stuff in here. Oh, oh, how does that even happen? Look, it's like all dinged up on the inside plastic. Wow, that's really odd. Like, there's no dings that I can see on the... Oh, wait, there actually is a little bit of a ding here. Wow, that kind of sucks, but okay. Let's, uh, take that... Uh, hope that wasn't too loud. All right, so let's take that over there, and we have our three gigantic packs here. These things are freaking massive compared to uh, the standard bread and butter size packs for Yu-Gi-Oh. So let's get right into it here. 2020 Tin of Lost Memories Mega Pack. Let's pop it right open here. And we have right off the bat Gar Dragon Promineses. World Legacy Gar Dragon Mardark. Ooh. Know that card from Duel Links. Tenyi Spirit Mapura. Marincess Current. Dark Factory of More Production. So, Retrain of Mass Production, I guess. Valkyrie Chariot. Time Thief Winder is our first rare, I believe. Marincess Blue Slug. Oh, she looks so cute! <laughs> I love this card already. <laughs> World Legacy Guard Dragon is our. 
like, is this the ultra rare or is this the prismatic secret rare? Well, we'll find out. That would be the prismatic then, I guess. World Legacy Guard Dragon. Then we have Sirzio, Witch Watcher of the Evil Eye. Oh, so this is part of that archetype that was recently, well, kind of recently introduced to Dual Links. Interesting. We have Win, the Wind Charmer Verdant, a Link monster for the Wind Charmer archetype, as anyone might have guessed. Crusadia Testament. Hita, the Fire Charmer Ablaze. Very cool. Gladiator Beast United. Gladiator no Nomachia? Okay, that's, that's a word. Time Thief Hack. Marincest Sea Star. Eh, this, this one doesn't look as cute as the other one. And Marincest Crown Tail. Oh, this looks kind of cool. I like the art on uh, the Marincest cards. Let's hope we see more of them. So that is our first Mega Pack. Number two. We have, ooh, World Chalice Guard Dragon Almar Duke. That's a freaking sweet looking art. Dino Wrestler Marshall Ankylo. Dino Wrestler Silas, Silas Silat. Salomon Great Peril. Gladiator Beast Charge. Dino Wrestler Valionix. Man, I don't know how I feel about the Dino Wrestler cards. I'm a huge sucker for like dinosaurs and prehistoric stuff, but I really don't know how I feel about the wrestling gimmick with this archetype. Like, uh, I kind of wish they were just, you know, something more brutal and ancient instead of kind of ripping on fighters. But eh, what do I know? We have Rogue of Endymion, Gladiator Rejection, Ooh. Gizmek Yata, the Gleaming Vanguard. That is a very pretty card for our Prismatic. Strength in Unity. Oh, Blue Eyes support card. Very cool. Marinsas Coral Anemone. Oh, this one looks really cool too. Yeah, I freaking dig this archetype. Freaking, I'm a sucker for cute things. Marincess Wave. Yes, give me all the Marincess support. Oh, Marincess Mandarin. Oh, it's like a Mandarin Gobi, I think. Oh, that's super cute. You should look it up, by the way. A very pretty fish that kind of dwells on the bottom and tends to eat uh, copepods and little tiny crustaceans in the wild. But they're very, very pretty, if I do say so myself. Tyrant Dino Fusion. Salamon Great Burning Shell. Guard Dragon Reincarnation. Unchained Twins, Rakia, and Evil Eye of Gorgoneo. Ooh, part of that Evil Eye archetype. Uh, I've seen it a couple times in the ladder on Duel Links, but it's like a control deck, I guess. I'm not really sure how it plays. It's very weird, but uh, I do. I like the um, I like the aesthetic of the cards themselves. Kind of like occult, weird, spooky. I don't know, weird mythical dark creatures, I guess. Which is interesting. And we have, ooh, another evil eye card. We have Basilius, familiar of the evil eye. We have Dino Wrestler, Marshall Ampolo. Mordschlag. I hope I pronounced that right. Gladiator Beast, Comeback. Gladiator Beast, Atorix. Neospace Connector. Whitefish, Salvage. Zerziel, ruler of the evil eyed. So I'm assuming this is the boss monster of the archetype, the official like final boss monster. Very cool. Shaman of the Tenny. That looks pretty sweet too. We have Witchcrafter Masterpiece. Oh man. I don't like this <laughs> I don't like these cards. They're too damn strong in dual links. Bad experiences. Marincess Marbled Rock. Ooh, another one. Very cool. Barricade Borg Blocker. Witchcrafter Draping. Tyrant Farm. Exes Sly Dolphin. Nebula Dragon. Crusher Run. 
Car Dragon Garmides. And that is it. Wow, so we didn't pull an Appaloosa, we didn't pull a Dragoon, we didn't pull Borolode Savage Dragon, we didn't pull the other, there's another Boral Dragon in this, and I forgot what it was called, I think it's like Boral, Borolode Exceed Dragon maybe? Which kind of sucks, but um, I'm hoping we still got some good stuff, I'm not exactly sure on all the prices, but uh, you know, we'll have them up in the final product that you guys will be watching right now, which is kind of some weird time traveling stuff, I guess. But that is how it will be. And also like and dislike the video, that helps out the reach, believe it or not, even if you dislike. And uh, if you do like seeing this kind of stuff, I upload every Wednesday evening. So uh, yeah, that is where you will catch me next week and in the weeks in the future, hopefully. Take care, guys, and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.